Okay, we're about to confirm that thing about opening doors with a credit card is just another one of Hollywood's lies. Ooh, bingo. Oh, what a bastard. I always thought I got the biggest room. The perfect blend of elegance and charisma, just like me. Nah, I don't need it. Mmm, sealed shut. Books, books, and more books. Wow, great villain heads. Nice setup he's got going here. Sentry mode activated. To be honest, that's something I don't really need. Mr. Schaefer? I can't carry that around. Yikes, that woman scares the bejesus out of me. I see a parasite, a sexually depraved miscreant who's only seeking to gratify his basis and most immediate urges. That goddamn lunatic. I'm sure this is all part of his eccentric security system. I can't. It's locked. I'm not in. I can't seem to open it. I can't carry that. I better not. Now you're mine, precious.
Nice convention, huh? Maybe for you. God. Ah. What the hell is wrong with you? You look like you're dying or something. Oh, I can't take this anymore. What happened, man? Ah, that hot dog vendor happened. He's tried to poison me. Really? I was hungry, okay? But I don't like chocolate, so I bought a hot dog from that guy and... Oh, God! And, uh, what can I do to help? Kill that bastard! I'd love to, but I don't think that's within my capabilities. Then you're of no use to me, kid. Do you want me to call an ambulance? No, I don't like ambulances. They're so noisy and they have no style. Are you serious? You look like you're gonna blow up any second now. You need some help. What I need is a damn coffee. Oh! What do you want coffee for? God, isn't it obvious? That hot dog almost killed me. I have a knot in my stomach, and I need to unload right away. Ooh, I get it, but, um, why don't you just use a laxative? Do you have any? Well, no, but I could throw one together. I just need to get my hands on a few choice ingredients. God, I love doing that. No, 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 no weird experiments. Ah, I just want a damn coffee. Uh, all right, I hear you, but I, I don't think there's any coffee machines around here. I mean, I've seen plenty of nerds that are just crying for a serious beatdown, but no trace of a coffee machine. Ah, uh, that damn fucker has a cup. Who? The hot dog guy. Ah! Then why don't you ask him for it? I mean, it is an emergency. I did, but he... Oh, he won't give it to me. Ah, bummer. It's not just that he sold me a bad hot dog, but now he refuses to... Oh, God, get me that coffee. All right, all right, I'll see what I can do, but I'm not promising anything. I, uh, brought this miniature, if you're interested. Oh, God. Is that... Is that a Millennium Enterprise? What are you, blind as well? Of course it's a Millennium Enterprise. Collector's edition, I might add. Oh, I'm dying. I see. Well, uh, no one should leave this world without acquiring one of these. Ugh. Listen, I'm a big fan of Trek Wars. I've been a fan since I was a kid, and I always wanted to have the Millennium Enterprise, but... But... But right now, I'm suffering from this indescribable pain. I can't do business in this state. I need help. Okay, okay. I'll be right back. Go find a security guard. Tell him someone's tried to poison me. But are, are you sure about this? What if it's not his fault? Do it! All right. But just so you know, that's not the best way to ask for a favor. The bluntness of my words is due to the excruciating pain I find myself in. And that's the only reason I'm gonna forgive you. Hey, how's it going, pal? <sighs> Not great. Looks like these nerds only spend their money on crap. Hmm, slow day, huh? <laughs> I've only sold one dog today. To that guy, Mel. Yeah, I know. And he says your hot dog is the reason he's about to puke his guts up right now. Impossible. I only deal in the finest quality meat. Guaranteed. Uh, look, I believe you, but something's going on. That guy is writhing around in agony over there. He was just fine before eating that hot dog. If this is some kind of trick to get a free dog, nice try, but no dog. May I, uh, have that cup of coffee? You too. Listen, kid, this is my coffee. And I need it if I'm going to make it through this circus. But, uh, Mel could really use it. Yeah, I know that Mel guy wants my coffee too. He has asked me already, and not very politely, you know? You have to understand, he needs to unload right away? I don't care. It wasn't my hot dog that made him sick, that's for sure. And I'm not giving my coffee to a guy that rude. It's my coffee. Got it. Do you really think coming here was a good idea? 
I was told this hot dog junkie would be around. I do good with that guy. Good old Murray. Exactly. But he's guarding the front door, and I'm not allowed to set my cart there, so I'm stuck in here. But honestly, I was expecting to see more lad jobs around in a place like this. Yeah, it sucks not having fat people around. Fat jokes are so much more funny when there's porkers to get offended. Uh, okay. Well then, see ya. What? You're not going to buy anything? After all the chit-chat? I never said I would. Oh, well, okay. Get out of here. Hey, Murray, we have a code brown here. What? Someone's tried to poison the pawn shop guy. Is that true? I never lie about something that serious. I see, but uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to leave my post. I'm afraid you'll have to ask someone else. Oh, I can't believe it. I always thought of you as someone who's not afraid to throw his hat over the wall for the good of mankind. I can't just leave the door unattended, kid. But tell me, what happened? Mel claims it was the hot dog guy. What? There's a hot dog guy in there? Well, you seem very happy all of a sudden. Eh, he must have come really early, because I didn't see him go past. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. It's kind of weird, though. I can't even smell him. And I'm like a bloodhound when it comes to wieners. Yeah, okay. Hello, Murray. I believe we were talking about a very serious case of poisoning. Uh, oh, yes, of course. I'll get to the bottom of it. The minute I'm able to leave my post, I'll get in there and I'll begin my investigation. boy. But please, don't hang around. Poor Mel's about to burst. All right. Mel? Are you in there? Oh, I hope you're deaf and you're here to put an end to my suffering. Better yet, it's me, Randall. Who? That Emerson Express delivery guy, you know. We were talking about your stomach problems a little while ago. Oh, yeah, sure. The Millennium Enterprise guy. Yeah, that's me. Great. Do you have that coffee? Uh, well, no. Then get out of here! Oh, I need total concentration, and for that I need to be alone. Uh, fine, I want you to know that I just told security what's going on. Oh, God. If you're talking about that constable at the entrance, then fuck my life! Come on, give Murray a chance. It's being so dumb that makes him so charismatic. Oh, whatever, kid. Just don't come back here unless you have a coffee with you. Oh! I'll do my best. Are you here for business or pleasure? What? Are you here to investigate the mysterious case of the poisoned wiener? Or are you just stuffing yourself? That offends me, kid. I'm a total pro. I was just... sniffing around. I see. So what have you turned up? That from now on, hot dogs with extra chili are my favorite. I knew you would like them, officer. Oh, shut up, suck up. There's no case here, boy. I don't know what made your friend so sick, but it wasn't this nice guy's food, that's for sure. Besides, he only sells the finest quality meat. All his products have a certificate of authenticity, and those are impossible to falsify. They even have the date on them. I'm sorry. Oh, this isn't over. I think this investigation is biased. I told you, I'm a professional, but there's nothing fishy about this man. So what do you want me to do? I don't know, Murray. This is your job. Bring in sniffer dogs or call the SWAT team. What for? How should I know? I'm just making suggestions. Uh, there's absolutely no evidence that this man is selling bad hot dogs. So there's nothing else I can do. Case closed. Oh, case closed my ass. I'm not giving up on this investigation. Even if you throw the guys from internal affairs on me, I'm gonna get to the bottom of this even if it means handing in my badge. God damn it, we're officers of the law, Murray, for the love of God. I am. You're not. Oh, right. Crap.
I've had enough of this. I'm out. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, get out of here. You're annoying my good friend, Officer Mari. I said shut up, you brown nose. So, uh, what do you think about the condition of this hot dog? Come on, kid. You didn't get that from me. I can smell it from here. I'm not talking to you. What do you think, Murray? The same as this good man just said. I highly doubt you got that here. Oh, really? What about the certificate of authenticity, then? What? Let me see. I said I wasn't talking to you. Got it? That, that is your certificate, my friend. That's impossible. Hey. I know what's going on here. I'm sure that dirty punk bought that from me a few days ago, and now that the meat is off, he wants us to believe he got it here today. Ha <laughs> ha! Nice try, kid. Why don't you check the date, Murray? No way! It's... it is today's date. Bazinga! In your face, dickhead. But... Who's your daddy? But... Randall is. Who's your daddy? That's imp... Randall is. Don't you know? Okay, okay, looks like everything is starting to make sense here. But it can't be. I'm sure I didn't sell anything to this moron. I'm sorry, friend, but this looks serious. I'm afraid you'll have to come down to the station. I can't believe this. Me neither. <laughs> this is so unfair. I didn't do anything. Yeah, yeah, tell it to the judge. What judge? You can't arrest me for that. Come on, officer, how about one on the house? With extra chili. That's your favorite, right? Oh, come on, you, you know I'm innocent. Murray, don't fail me now. I... Officer Murray, you know I'm innocent. Eh, <laughs> tell it to the judge. What? Right on. That's my Murray. This isn't over. I am gonna talk to my lawyer. He's gonna clear my name. You can call whoever you want, but from the station. Ooh, this is great. I'm gonna tell Mel the good news. Hello? Yeah? I just wanted you to know that you're officially avenged. Did you kill that hot dog bastard? Better yet, I got him arrested. And how the hell does that help me? I don't know, you should just be happy. He was guilty and he got caught, see? The system works. Uh, that guy didn't... Uh, I didn't do a damn thing! Oh my... What? I'm saying that it wasn't his hot dog what made me sick. In fact, it was delicious. Aw, oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. No, ouch. I got sick because I baked myself one of those mercury cola pies. It always lead to serious intestinal problems. Then why the hell did you blame that poor hot dog guy? Everybody knows his hot dogs are the shit. Now thanks to you, I'll never be able to try one. Uh, sorry, kid. Uh, but the coffee is the only thing that relieves the agony when I get this sick. And that bastard wouldn't give me his. So, that's it. I judge you, but to be honest, I've done much worse things to be here today. Uh, good for you. I'm sorry, kid. Ow. But I need some privacy now. End of conversation. Ah! Okay, have a blast. One latte macchiato with extra saccharin coming up. Oh, really? Do you think I'd lie about something like that? Oh, how should I know? Oh, I barely know you. Here you go. Oh, thank God. Oh, come on now. I just do what I can. I owe you my life, boy. I was starting to seriously contemplate suicide. Oh no, please, come on, I've seen enough suicides for the moment. I like how that sounds. That's cause you're a weird guy. Well, let's talk business, shall we? This miniature is wonderful, it even lights up. 
I always offer maximum quality. I love it. And it's from the original series. This is amazing. How much do you want? Everything you have. In cash, please. All of it? I saved you. You owe me. I know, but... No buts. Do you have any idea what I went through for that coffee? No. Phew. Thank God, because it wasn't really that hard. Anyway, the thing is that your stomach didn't explode and you have me to thank for that. So come on, give it. Give it. Give it here. Fine, kid. I didn't know you were so treacherous. Of course you didn't. You barely know me. Yeah, and I hope it stays like that. Here's your money. I'm back. All I had to do was break into a bar mitzvah and steal all the jackets from the check room. Aw, oh, the universe will punish you one day. One day, huh? Maybe on a Monday, right? Well, I'm sick of it. Here, this should be more than enough. More than enough? I don't think so. Dude, I'm sure that's the biggest amount of money you've ever seen all together in your life. Even including that dream you had where you broke into Fort Knox. So don't tell me it's not enough. Hey! The Fort Knox thing was top secret. If the wrong people are listening in, we could get killed. Charlie, I told you, you can't break into Fort Knox unless your name is John McClane. Besides, didn't you say they had a velociraptor with a flashlight for a security guard? That only proves that they're also doing shady illegal experiments in there. Oh, whatever. So do you want more money? Seriously? Because this is all I have. Well, maybe there's something you can do for me. Ew, don't put it like that. You make it sound so unsavory. Ah, forget it. I don't think you'd be up to it anyway. Hey, come on. You can't do that now. Come on, spill. Okay, so, this year is Captain Red's 35th anniversary. And you want to propose to the actor who plays him at the convention, right? Okay, I haven't seen him around today, but don't worry. I'm your bro, I'll be your wingman. You know, Randall, every word you say only gets you one step further from this ring. <laughs> Relax, man. I was just kidding. I'm sure you don't need my help seducing him. Okay, the price has just gone up by 20%. Aw, oh, come on. You're a real big mouth, Randall. Learn when to stop. Charlie, I can't afford one more cent. I'm not talking about money. As I was saying, this year, we celebrate Captain Red's 35th anniversary. And you want to propose to the... Enough already. I just wanted you to go to the food section and get some official Captain Red ice cream so we could share it and celebrate this special event together. Hmm, sounds pretty simple. Ah, you don't get it. That offer is off the table now. Oh, then what the hell do you want from me? You must find me some rare Captain Red merchandising, something I don't already have. And I warn you, I am a serious collector. And that is the only way you'll be getting your hands on this ring. Oh, seriously? Where am I gonna find something like that? Hey, not my problem. 